Go ahead, Tim. Drew, on the, on the fumble, was that on the RPL fumble? Looking to hit a pass in the flat there, is that what it would have been? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What got going in the second half of the passing game? Your numbers are going to look great at the end of this game. What got going kind of in the second half? We were able to lose some things up downfield and start getting some deeper targets. Yeah, you know, I think we went empty. Uh, we went empty a lot and had the back in some routes and kind of knew what their check was to empty and uh, we worked that all week and Coach Reese had great plays against it and we just were able to execute. Drew, today was the first time you guys have played from behind in a while. How does that change your approach as an offense, especially given how run mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, in the beginning of the game being down um, a little bit, for us on the sideline, we were just trying to, you know, not try to press and we were just trying to, you know, focus on execution. And we can't control um, what the defense does and our defense plays so hard. And But, you know, we can control what we can control on offense. And uh, so we were just taking it play by play. So being from behind really didn't have much to do uh, with the first half. All the way back. Through a slow start to the season for your team, but then you had a nice run. Now that the regular season part is over, just an overall assessment. Yeah, you know, I think we have a lot to play for still. So, you know, we're going to be in a bowl game, and I want to send all these seniors out the right way. We have a lot to play for. Um, you know, we have another game. Where I'm going to prepare as hard as I can for that and finish the season off to, in a positive note. And, you know, that's going to be my focus for the next month. And I'm proud of how we fought today. I'm proud of how we fought all season. I'm really proud of our team. And, you know, I'm just in a month when the game comes up, we're going to finish in the, in the right way. Go ahead. Is it, is it too reductive to say, like, USC was just better in some key moments tonight, whether it be the, the fourth and one stop on Mitch or, or the fumble that you had, like, you, that you felt like you guys were right there, but it was just one or two plays that kind of kept you going from getting on time? Um, you know, I'll, I'll have to go back and look at the film, but, you know, I think USC is a great team. You know, that was a really good team I played out, we played out there, and they're going to go on and do great things for the rest of the season. And, you know, Caleb Williams is a great player, and their defense is good. And, you know, I, like you said, I mean, I, they are a great team, but so are we. And, you know, they got the best of us tonight. Go ahead. They're on the right. Uh, Trey, I just wanted to ask about um, Dion and Lorenzo. Um, obviously, a couple of younger receivers that need to step up this offense. Both had pretty big games mm-hmm. tonight. You hit Dion's big moments down the stretch this season. What have you felt in your development with the chemistry with those guys? How has that progressed? You? Um, you know, I think it's credit to them. They're two young guys who would just work their tails off nonstop. And, you know, I, we work in practice, after practice, throwing back shoulders. Like, I worked that with Dion during the week, um, you know, throwing a high ball up to him in, in the red zone. And, you know, those guys just come to work every single day with a positive attitude. They're silly guys who like to have fun. And they, they're some of my best friends. So kind of just like that chemistry of, being close with them as receivers, I think, translates on the field and all the work that we put in during the week. Last call. All right, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you.